Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be filming this spring makeup look. It's very doll-like and light and fresh and I think it's really pretty and I'm so excited for it to be the springtime. So I thought I would do a little makeup look and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get on to the look. So first I'm going to take my Revlon Cream Illuminance Shadows and this is in the color Wild Orchids and there are these really pretty purpley shades. Now I'm going to take this first color right here and apply it to my lids. And it's going to give you a really light but kind of dewy look to the skin, which is what I want. I don't want a lot of pigmentation necessarily, but a really fresh and kind of dewy, pretty look to the eyelids. Then I'm going to take this color right here, which is a little bit of a deeper purple, and I'm going to apply this to the outer parts of the eye. Then go ahead and take any white shadow and apply this underneath your brow bone for a subtle highlight. This one has a little bit of shimmer, so it's going to kind of catch in the sunlight and create a really pretty effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to take one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Maybelline Great Lash, and this is the Curved Edition. It's really, really black, so it's going to make your eyelashes stand out really nicely against kind of the really pale and light eyeshadows. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I also really love this mascara because it holds a curl, and it gives a really fun and kind of playful vibe because it makes them look really curled and just really doll-like, which is something that I love for the spring. I love kind of that really pale, pretty doll-like look. And then to add to that doll-like look to the lashes, I'm taking another mascara, and this is the NYC Volumizing High Definition, and I feel like this really separates and creates kind of that, um, not spidery, but separated, really defined look to the lashes. So I like to add this to get a little bit more drama going on in the lashes. And it has kind of almost like a comby wand and you can just comb it through the lashes to separate them. Sorry, my dogs are freaking out in the background, as you guys can hear. So now hopefully you can see my very volumized and full doll-like lashes, which I think look so pretty. And I'm actually going to go ahead and skip any um, mascara on the lower lash line because I really want it to have kind of this lifted effect and just kind of really focus on my upper lashes. But I am going to go ahead and take a white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to line my lower lash line. And this is Max White Eyeliner Coal in the color Fascinating. Just a really super creamy and rich eyeliner. Now for the skin, I'm going to take a liquid illuminator. And this is my Revlon Age Defining Liquid Illuminator. And even though it is age defining, I feel like it works really nice on my skin because it adds um, the shine and a little bit of glimmer, but it's not super sparkly and it's not going to like get into your pores, which I just hate the look of like sparkles and pores. Um, it's never a nice look on anyone. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this out. And the way it comes out is actually really interesting. It kind of just comes out through a brush, so you kind of get a lot and you need to be careful when you're dispensing it. But I like to just get a little bit and then put it on my finger and then lightly blend it in. And then on to blush, I'm going to be using, this is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in the color Peach Satin. Again, one of my favorites. I've showed this many times. And you could use a brush, but I like to just use my fingers. It creates a nice application and it blends really easily, so. Now I'm gonna zoom you back in one more time so we can finish up with the lips. I'm going to be using, this is a lip liner that I got from Ulta, it's in the color Rose, and I'm going to just line my lips. And then I'm going to be taking this awesome lipstick and gloss duo. It's actually a Revlon Color Say Overtime Lip Color. And basically the idea of it is it comes out like a gloss and then it kind of dries to um, kind of like a long lasting lipstick. Almost like a lip stain. Um, although the formula is a little bit creamier than that. And this is in the color Forever Pink. It's a really beautiful pearly baby pink. Perfect for springtime. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the actual color first.
And hopefully you can see from the application that it's not really drying. It gives a really pretty kind of sheen and it looks just glossy and dewy. Um, but it will go ahead and dry in about two minutes to a more permanent lip color and it will actually last for a good, in my opinion, three to four hours depending on um, if you're eating and drinking and stuff. But if you're not, I think it, the color lasts for a good three to four hours. I think that's nice. Um, it is a little bit drying but not super drying as you can tell and I like that it also gives a sheen even though it is going to dry to a finish of a lip stain. So I'm going to go ahead and let this have a minute to dry and then I'm going to go ahead and finish up. Okay, so now that the lipstick has dried, I'm going to go ahead and apply the gloss. And I love that this comes with the gloss. Number one, it keeps it from being drying, but it also adds a really pretty shine once this dries into the um, stain or lipstick form. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this gloss. I also love the brush it comes with. It's a really sturdy, nice br brush that gives you a lot of control. I'm just focusing on the center of the lips. So overall, this is my very simple and light spring makeup look. I really love the way it looks, and I think it's very girly and romantic, Is which what I think of when I think of spring. I think of, like, light lilacs and baby pinks and such, um, and those are kind of, like, my favorite colors to wear anyway, so I love the springtime when you get to play around with those looks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and all the products will be listed below if you want to check them out, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everyone. And now, even though this is not directly related to the makeup I'm wearing, I wanted to mention three different nail polish ideas for the springtime that kind of go along with this look. The first one is OPI's nail polish in the color Significant Other Color, and it is a really cool purple. It's not just your average purple. Um, as you can see, it's a really nice lilac, and then it has um, a shimmer and like a duochrome throughout it of like pink and kind of like a peachy orange color. So I love this color and I definitely think if you're into purples on your nails, you should check this one out because I do not think you will be disappointed. The next color is from Revlon and I'm not sure if this is still available or not, but this is in the color Pink Chiffon, which first of all is just such a cute and girly name. It's a really milky baby pink. I do think this takes about two to three coats to get an opaque color, but once you have it on, Revlon polishes actually last a very long time on your nails. And I like that this color is a little bit brighter than your average kind of baby milky pinks that you see. And of course, it's a little bit less expensive because it is just Revlon, so you can find it at your local drugstore. So I do like that one. And the last one is kind of a splurge, but it is a beautiful color, and I love the packaging as well. This is a Butter London polish in the color Teddy Girl. And as you can see, it's a very whited pink color and it is a little bit lighter than the pink chiffon as you can see this one has a little bit more of a white tone and this obviously has a little bit more of a pink. So, this is a Butter London color. I purchased this from Ulta but you can search for where to buy Butter London polishes and yeah.